Welcoming the great Doris McCarthy. I'm delighted, I'm honored to be here today. I'm humbled to be here in the presence of this great lady. Um, I'm humbled to be your mayor, as you have vacationed in Carlin Township for almost 50 years. I think it was 1958 when you purchased your cottage. And as I have uh, looked into Doris's achievements, the, uh, the Order of Canada, the Order of Ontario, five doctorates, that just scratches the surface. Uh, Doris McCarthy has impacted the world with her with her paintings, with her writings, and with her personality. But the irony of it all is that she has kept a very low profile in Carling Township. <laughs> she has been a stellar ratepayer. She pays her taxes. She never complains, except on one occasion. Doris, I want to take you back in time, and with this I close. This goes back into the late 90s. I was a counselor in the township of Carling. And one evening, who would grace our council chambers but Doris McCarthy and her friends? They came with a specific reason. They drove from her cottage on Snook Harbor Road, on Highway 559, to the town of Carlin. Doris uh, approached council that night with a request. Very sweet and very kind, and I have to tell you, I was in awe as you came into the council chambers. You sat in the front seat. You smiled so sweetly, and I thought, what a great lady. She made her presentation to council, and here was the issue. She and her friends wanted to see a yellow line on Highway 559, down the center of the road. It would be good for driving, especially at night. Now, this world-famous artist who has an eye for detail, who would never miss anything, made this presentation to us. She remembers. I had to tell the story, Doris. Our reem of the day, Bert Ricci, very cautiously said, well, um, Miss McCarthy, I believe the yellow line is on the road. No, it's not on the road. Why would I drive all the way here to tell you that we want a yellow line when it's just not on the road? Well, I knew that Bert had quite an issue on his hands, and I watched with interest as I saw the fire in her eyes and I saw the wreath melt. <laughs> Very wisely he said, Doris, we will look into this for you and we will petition NTO to get a yellow line on the highway. She was delighted. She smiled sweetly just the way she came in and she took her leave. Something very unusual happened that night after you left, Doris. Two unusual things. The telephone rang. The phone never rings during a council meeting, but it did that night. The second thing was we heard it. Normally we would never hear the phone ring. Our clerk dashed downstairs and grabbed the telephone, and we waited. And we waited. And soon she came back upstairs, and she said, do you want to know who that was? We said, yes. Was there, is there an emergency? Is there a problem? She said, that was Doris McCarthy. <laughs> really? What, what did she want? She wanted to apologize as she drove home. She saw the yellow line on the road. A very humble and gracious lady. Doris, on behalf of my council, the staff, all the wonderful ratepayers of Carnegie, we want to wish you a very pleasant, happy Georgia Bay birthday. I have a small gift I would like to give you. 
It's in this little box. It's representative of you because it's small but it's profound. <laughs> this is a pin with our logo on it. It's a gold pin and basically the pin shows everything you love about Georgian Bay. The windswept pines, the sparkling waters, the clear blue skies. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday.